picking the part of the set. Hi, well welcome to the channel and I just wanted to uh, lead you through an instructional video on how I uh, installed some titanium valves into a 2002 CRF 450. Now this, this project is actually a build that I started from scratch by uh, rebuilding the engine and then I built the bike around the engine in this project. So if you're interested in the project, look at other uh, videos on the SoCal Honda Build channel. Um, but I'm just going to kind of lead you through uh, what I did in inspecting this head and uh, replacing the valves. Here it is actually running after I had done all the work. So uh, these first few clips, I'm just going to show you uh, kind of what the head looked like uh, when I got it all apart and cleaned up. And you can see that the seats were in decent shape. When I did a leak test on those, um, initially, the one intake valve on, I believe it was the back left side, was leaking a bit, and it was the one that was in line coming right <clears throat> uh, right out of the, the intake, right next to the intake. And so I uh, took this head in and uh, I've recently had it um, inspected. But basically, uh, through this video, I'm just going to show you what I did to clean it up here. So I, here I'm cleaning the head up and uh, using a Dremel, a wire brush on a Dremel here, a small Dremel tool. And you want to be careful not to get in to the... Uh, the valve seats when you're using a, a, a tool such as this. But I'm just kind of cleaning the ports there and uh, cleaning the carbon out with that Dremel tool um, and it can be kind of aggressive so you, you definitely want to stay away from the actual valve, valve seats with that tool. Um, there I got a little close to the valve seat um, but uh, at any rate I had the intake valves uh, seats machined on this head. Use this Dremel tool here to clean it up, and then I used right, so we have the a 200-grit uh, sandpaper. a little bit better here, and uh, you can see the, uh, the two intake valves and the two exhaust valves, and uh, you, can, you can certainly see now the, the seat and the condition of the seat a little bit better. So we will reinstall those valves and see just how well they, they sit down in that seat. So here I'm just installing uh, the valves into place and seeing how well they seat uh, down into that. Okay, just in install the new titanium valve and uh, just having a look at how tightly it fits into the guide and extremely tight fit. So very snug. I think... Uh, my, my main concern was with the condition of these guys. They're in very good condition. So I can, I feel pretty good about reusing those guides. I can reuse those guides and uh, install these new titanium valves. So the first thing we're going to do is install uh, these new valve guide seals onto the intake and then onto the exhaust. And this is just a view of the cylinder head from the top down. We'll put these on first. So I just put those seals in by hand and then I use this tool to push them on down further in and seat them on the guides. the surface cleaned really well on the bottom and we will install the first titanium intake valve and we are installing the second titanium valve and again we have a really tight fit really snug fit on those valves 
and now a titanium. So here I am installing the valve. titanium exhaust valves, and I noticed when they went in, uh, and I tested them a little later, that they're a little loose. And when I had the head inspected, um, they were a little loose. I went ahead and put them in and ran them. Uh, and then recently I've actually taken the head apart, disassembled it, and had some work done at the machine shop. Uh, and I'll be going through that. So we are going video. to start by installing the spring uh, for the exhaust right side. And again, we want to go with the coils, the tight coils at the bottom. So now we have our right front exhaust valve that we are installing. And we just compress this spring enough so that we can get these circlips in the end. Just enough. Put one side in, then the other. There's one circlip, fell right into place. You can see it in there. And now we will do the other side. We may have to push it. You can see. This is really tricky sometimes. Sometimes I use these needle nose pliers to drop that down in there. Now I have both clips installed down in there and I'm just relieving the tension and they should pop into place. And they do. Valve one is installed. Um, while it is, there's a little bit of tension on there, I will just tap on it with a hammer a bit. Just make sure that those things are seated correctly. And then again, we'll take the tension off. Have a look at that. Both clips are in there. Nothing is crooked. Move on to the next one. So we have the left exhaust, pulling it out of the bag here. Again, we want to look at, at these coils uh, where they're tightly wound. We want those to go on the bottom. Stopper. And then we get the two little Hands. And again, we run this down. Installing the left front and pressing that pin down or that spring down quite a ways. We'll put the first stopper in. And this is the trick. 
get that stopper. There we go. Got the first one to drop down in. And now the second. the second two pins installed so we will begin to take the tension off here and watch them pop into place give a little tap and the second set of exhaust valves is in place. So we've got both exhaust valves in place now. We'll work on the intake valves here in the back. So we have the first uh, intake valve finished. Now we're moving on to the second and last. Again, tight side of the springs on the bottom. All right, well, we have all four valves installed, the two intake valves, two exhaust valves. Um, the, the ring clips look like they're seated correctly, everything's seated. We have new, you can see down in there, the blue seals, the new blue seals. See under the springs. And then here are the valves. We are good to go. So that is it for uh, this portion of the series of videos of the initial install. Uh, I ran it, uh, the bike, for a little while with these titanium valves just to see how they would perform and kind of wanted to do a comparison between those and stainless steel valves. So um, recently I have pulled the head off again. I've taken the head to a machine shop to have them cut uh, the valve seats and I'm replacing the titanium with stainless steel so stay tuned for uh, new videos coming out. I'm also going to be including sections on replacing your valve guides in that series of videos. I'll be explaining the difference between stainless steel titanium and a summary of uh, this entire build and everything that we learned about the heads and, and redoing the heads, machining, the head. Um, I'm also going to be talking a little bit about uh, getting your bike running right after a build. It's pretty common uh, after you rebuild the engine and adjust everything for things to uh, not run that well. That's what I'm doing here is actually uh, setting the idle high and resetting the carburetor. So stay tuned for more videos coming out on these subjects and uh, hopefully they help you.